I can't believe it. I'm so excited over a toilet. And it's just not any toilet. It's a porcelain toilet for our RV. We're replacing um, the plastic toilet in our RV for this porcelain toilet. The reason we wanted a porcelain toilet is that um, I wanted a residential feel to a toilet. The plastic one, um, when the lid rubs onto the plastic bowls, it makes a lot of squeaky sounds. And with the porcelain toilet bowl, when you put the sit down, you sit on here, it's, um, it doesn't make that sounds and it looks really nice. I can't wait to install it. For the installation, we only need these two tools. This is a 10 millimeter socket and this is a quarter inch um, ratchet and this is a 10 millimeter wrench we use a small one because there's not enough room to use that big one and these came with the toilet the first thing we need to do for the new toilet is to tip it over <laughs> and get this form piece out Okay, we don't want this to go into the black tank. Okay, and this is a brand new one that comes with it. We just have to pop it in. Okay. All right, let's start. First thing I need to check is to make sure the water pump is off because I don't want to have water all over the place. Okay, it is off. And I have to have a towel here. Um, I'm sure there will be a little water leakage when we take the old toilet out. There are two screws at the base, one over here. And this one on the opposite end, right here. This is the back side of the toilet. There's, a, there's only one connection that I have to um, unscrew to take off the old toilet. First, take off this cap. And then put the ratchet on. Okay, I just have to unscrew this out and take the washer out. There you go. To take off the screw on this side first, I have to take off the cap and just throw it out. <laughs> I'm going to use this small um, wrench here since there's no room to put that ratchet in on this side. Where is the screw? Can't see. Hang on. This is the better way to access the screw on this side because there's, there's no room to see. I couldn't see very well um, looking down the other way. So this is better. It's coming out. Got it. I need to get the washer out too. Hang on. I think can't get it. Okay, to uh, separate the toilet out from the water source, I have to loosen this knob right here. I have to put a towel down here just in case the water comes out. Okay. Ooh, it's separated. All right, time to say goodbye to this plastic toilet. Oh my God, it's so light. It is like a, a toy toilet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna weigh it to see how many pounds this is compared to the porcelain toilet. I'm going to weigh the new porcelain toilet to see how many pounds it weighs. Let's see, it's 26.8 pounds. Okay. Let's weigh this plastic toilet. 
It's about seven pounds. Wow, a lot lighter than the porcelain toilet. This is what it looked like um, after we took out the toilet. We're going to take this rubber ring off. But we're going to keep these two screws because uh, the, they're already here from, at the same positions. Hopefully. Let's try. Hi, I'm ready to go into his new home. <laughs> Okay, in order to connect this, um, the water hose back to um, the new toilet, you have to turn this over to the left side a little bit because the attachment is at a um, different spot. All right, let's put this back in. This ratchet is not going to fit the new toilet, so I have to use this wrench. Okay, one more screw right here. Put this last screw in. Whoops! <laughs> oh, it's so much harder on this side because of the foot pedal here. Can, it, can I try the the cap that came with the, the porcelain toilet? Okay, yeah, that just sits right on top of the screw, but since we were using the existing screw, so um, the cap doesn't um, sit tightly, but that's okay. It's just um, to cover. And let's see, we could use the same cap for here. Where is it? Okay, whoops, <laughs> this one is too small. Never mind, let's just use the old one on this side. There. Okay. Oh, done. Honey, can you turn on the water pump? Let's test it out. Okay. Ah. Oh. There was a leak um, by the connector right in the back. Actually, I didn't thread it in correctly, so just to make sure um, if you do it, just make sure it um, thread in correctly, then uh, that solved the problem. So we could test it out now. <laughs> okay, let's test it out. Here we go. Yes, it's working. And uh, there's no more leak, no water, yay. And uh, the seat stays up too. <laughs>